Add, Edit and Delete Event. After opening Event Express, the first screen you'll see is Select Event Window. In this window, you can see the events created by you. The folder icons lets you see and set the path where the Event Express projects have been saved. The events are auto sorted according to the date, that is, the farthest event comes first. To add a new project, click on the Add Event button in Select Event Window and you'll be redirected to the Add Event Window. In this window, you'll have to fill up the details for the event. Under Event section, you can assign the name of the event. Choose the date of the event or you can manually enter the date. You can change the month and the year from the available drop down menu in the date tab. From the path option, you can decide the path where you want to save the project. Now here, under photo selection, you can set the path of the photos to be included in the designs from photo 1. If you want to add two photos to the design, then check the photo 2 checkbox. The options which are available for photo 1 are also available for photo 2. Now when you give path for the photo folder, the first photo in the folder goes into the design. You can decide the angle of the camera from the camera option. Three options are given which you can choose any one angle according to your photo angle. The photo will get set according to your settings. Now if your photos have chroma, you can choose the chroma option. By clicking on the color box next to the chroma option, you can directly go to the chroma window. Here, you can give chroma effects to the photos by selecting the chroma color like this. Now under the design section, the add button here is to add the design you want behind photo. Edit or delete will allow you to edit the design for a particular event and you can use delete to remove the design from that event. In the receipt section, you can add the seller's name and the receipt number. Check the checkbox of receipt printer and assign the printer's part to get the printed receipts. Next is the order section. The first option is print. You can set up to four printers at a time of creating the event. If you want to print the files, check the printer's checkbox. You can browse and set the printer for printing. The output would be printed as per your printer size. You can share the output on Facebook. There are two options under the Facebook tab. One is a primary account from where you can set a fixed account to which you want to post output. You can set this account from the set account option. Click on the set account option and you'll be redirected to the Facebook login window where you'll be asked to provide your login details. The second option is the variable account. From this account you can set the second account that is the customer's account. For example, if he wants his photos to be posted on his Facebook account, you can also change the size of the photos which are going to be posted on the Facebook account. From the FB size option, down menu, choose the desired size. That is, a 4x6, a 5x7, a 6x8 or 8x12. Now if you want to send the output to the customer via email, check the email size checkbox and choose the photo size. All the projects are by default exported and stored in a JPEG format. You can choose the file size or JPEG from the storage size option. Once you're done with adding all the details and settings, then save your created event. Once you save it, you will see the project in the select event window. The edit option here is to allow to make the desired changes, like changing name, saving path, Design and the delete option here, you can delete the event permanently.